Good morning. Sometimes I am reminded of Admiral Stockdale. He was the Oscar Rhodes vice presidential candidate in his first uh, debate, and only debate of the vice presidential candidates. He stood up there and said, who am I? Why am I here? That reminds me of myself presently, but I do remember two things. First thing, I, on behalf of my wife Nancy and I, and George Mariani, and I'm the current vice chair of the advisory board, I want to thank the Army and all of you out there for all that you have done, all that you are doing now, what you all will do for our communities. I thank you. We thank you. Second thing I'm here to do is read the scripture of the day. That's from Ephesians, Paul's letter to his churches in Ephesus. Ephesus, excuse me. Starting with chapter 4, verse 17. So I tell you this, and insist on it in the name of the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do. In the futility of their thinking, they are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality as to indulge in every kind of impurity with continual lust for more. You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put it off, your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to, and to put on a new self, created to be like God, true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. He who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with his own hands, that he may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may be a benefit for those who will listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every other form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ forgave you. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly beloved children, and therefore as, excuse me, and live with a life of love, just as Christ loved us, and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. 